Are you not exactly sure how to stay focused for long periods of time? Well, let's find out. Hey, what's up? Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna show you some amazing strategies that you can use to stay focused for long periods of time. And I'm thinking days, weeks, months, and even years. And the good thing is that some of the strategies that work for long-term focus can also be applied for short-term focus, so for daily focus to stay focused for a couple of hours every single day. So if you're ready, let's just begin. So I'm gonna share with you five crucial strategies that you should know. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can get every single day in this amazing flow state that lasts a couple of hours and you can do tons of different stuff in this short period. So subscribe below and stay tuned. So the first thing you need to do is you need to take fewer decisions. There's a thing called decision fatigue and it happens because you have to take many, many decisions every single day. You know, just after you wake up, you have to decide on what kind of clothes you're gonna wear, what you're gonna eat for breakfast, then you need to go to work, you have to decide which road you're gonna take. And you know, there are just so many decisions you have to take just in the morning. And imagine you still have the whole day in front of you. And because of the decision fatigue, people, really successful people like, for example, Mark Zuckerberg, um, he, for example, uses the exactly same shirt every single day because it's one less decision he needs to take. And for the exact same reason, Steve Jobs didn't wear shoes for quite some time. Well, I'm not sure about this one, but well, it's kind of logical, isn't it? He was a hyper productive guy and well, not wearing shoes is one decision less you need to take every single day. So if you really want, want to be focused for long periods of time, the fewer decisions you make, the better for you. So this is one of the most important things you need to remember. The second thing and the most obvious one is you need to limit the distractions around you. And again, I'm talking about long-term distractions. Emails that you get, phone calls, notifications, um, you know, all different stuff that can um, take your focus away are really distracting and you need to get rid of them. The best way to do this is to uh, turn off notifications on your smartphone, turn off notifications on your computer and really delete all apps and all unnecessary things that you really don't want to be notified about. Well, once you want to learn about, for example, if you got some new likes on Instagram, then well, you can go on Instagram and check it out. But every single day, the fewer times you're disrupted, better for you. So this is really, really important. One cool trick that I use for emails, for example, I only check emails two times per day. Once in the morning um, to see if something happened the previous day or night that I should know about. And then I check it out once in the afternoon. And that's it. So no notifications, no push-up messages, no noises, nothing. And it really, really works. The third thing you need to know about is you shouldn't focus on everything. I know you'll get tons of opportunities you will be interested in tons of different stuff, reading books, checking videos, learning about X, you know, so many different stuff is happening around you. And it's really hard to stay focused on all those different things. And the best way to do this is really uh, be careful when you're choosing what you're gonna focus on. We know that multitasking doesn't work. So the best way to go about this one is focus on one task, finish it, work on the second task, focus on it, finish it, and continue the same process. If you're gonna have too many things in front of you, again, you'll be confused, you won't know what to focus on, you'll lose too much time, and well, you will be extremely unproductive. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. The fourth strategy I wanna share with you is say no to everything. I know some people tell you just the opposite. You should say yes to everything, but if you really want to be hyper-productive, hyper-focused, then you should say no to everything. If you know what's your why, if you know what's your mission, if you have certain goals in your life, then you already know what you have to do, what you have to focus on, and this is the most important thing to work on. And all the new opportunities, all the new possibilities, all the new distractions, well, you should just say no to them. And if you do that, trust me, you'll be more productive, you'll get more things done, and as a result, you will probably be more successful. And last but not least, you shouldn't multitask. I know I mentioned this before, but it's really an important thing to remember. Multitasking doesn't work. 
It has been proven it doesn't work for people, for humans. Uh, and the thing is, uh, is, when you think you're multitasking, what you're actually doing is you're just quickly switching from one task to another. And that's not really multitasking, right? So instead of quickly switching from one task to another and not finishing them properly, and you know, in the process you'll become more nervous and, and um, stressed, instead of doing that, focus on one task, finish it, focus on the next one, and continue this process. Multitasking has been dead for quite some time, even though some people say they're really good multitaskers, but it's really not true. It's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a loss of time. And the, the really important thing you need to know is that every single time someone distracts you, and you can get distracted when you're multitasking as well because you're so quickly switching between the tasks, then you need about 23 minutes to get focused on the previous task. So every single time, every distraction, every time someone uh, interrupts you or you interrupt yourself, um, then you lose up to 23 minutes. Imagine you only get interrupted two to three times per day. I mean, that's like hour and a half lost every single day. That's a lot, guys, that's a lot. So in this video, I share with you five super important strategies you need to know about if you wanna get hyper-focused for long periods of time. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about how you can get in the flow. So subscribe below, stay tuned. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook and Instagram and I hope to see you soon again. Take care.